Hey guys, it's Phil Zero here from Punk Rock Slots, and I just came across this video, Why Gambling is Stupid by Offending Everybody. And I was just gonna watch it, but I was like, why not set up my camera and react to it? And I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but if not, let's watch it together. I'm pretty sure I already know what it's gonna talk about, but let's see, maybe we'll be surprised. You think they're gonna make some good points? Let's find out. Idiots. So many people are idiots. The fact that Las Vegas exists proves my point. You see, casinos are like your pastor. They promise you happiness, but end up taking advantage of you. Just take a look around. Giant water fountains, the Eiffel Tower, hookers that can pass as people. How do you think they can afford this shit? By selling tickets to the buffet? Mm-mm. It's by convincing suckers that they're smarter than multi-billion dollar corporations. True. How many times have you heard someone say, this is my hot seat or my lucky slot machine? Spoiler alert. There's no such thing as a hot seat. There's no such thing as a lucky machine you're never due to win it's just this is just stuff that people play into i guess i think a lot of people do it like as a joke but maybe there's some people that actually believe it let's keep going i like this so far Luck doesn't exist. If it did, your dad would have decided to pull out years ago. Another <laughs> phrase I hear all the time is, my number hasn't popped up, so it's due. Like, why don't you go outside and huff some paint? Because you clearly don't understand how say. probability works. If there's a hundred numbers and the number seven pops up ten times in a row, do you know the odds that it'll pop up an eleventh time? One out of a hundred! Just because it popped up before has no impact on it popping up again. But even if you're bad at math, just take a look around a casino. They're built specifically to milk you for all you got. There's no clocks or windows, so you don't realize how long you've been gambling for. They use chips and cards so it doesn't feel like you're using real money. Machines yeah. have flashing lights and sounds that give you Kinda. dopamine rushes. And, best of all, they serve you free alcohol. Nothing in life is free. If your girlfriend gives you a free blowy, know you'll end up paying for it later. <laughs> so casinos aren't giving out drinks out of the kindness of their heart. They're doing it to stir chemicals in your brain to disrupt whatever little bit of object reality you have left. We've all made dumb decisions while drunk. Now imagine being plastered next to an ATM. Could you not see how this shit could go off the rails? And people still go to Vegas thinking they're gonna make it big when the only thing that they're winning is chlamydia and divorce papers. But why <laughs> offending everybody are you going this hard on gambling? Well, for starters, every idea I have is random. I refuse to be like these other basic bitch stick figure channels just copying everyone's idea and never coming up with anything original. But what really spurred this idea was I was on a cruise recently and I like to play this game called Find a Pathetic Person. It's not what you think. It's where I walk around a casino trying to find the most pathetic person. Oh, that's exactly what you thought? Oh, okay, I'm glad we're both on the same page. Anyway, <laughs> I ended up bumping into a guy who said he loved to gamble. And I'm trying my hardest not to question his intelligence. He was wearing a Nikocado avocado shirt, so things were looking a, a little start. bleak in the IQ department. But trying to be objective, I decided to hear him out. I said, why do you feel like you'd win in a casino? And he said, oh, well, it depends on which game you play. I'm like, okay, well, what game do you play? True. He said, oh, I'm really good at blackjack. His okay, face looked like Bella mind. Ramsey, so I'm thinking maybe he's one of those autistic savants. I'm like, how are you so good at blackjack? Now he's starting to patronize me, saying, bro, there are tons of books on it. So in his mind, if there's a book, it must not be true. true. That's why Kanye is like, guys, I'm not anti-Semitic. If you just read a little bit of Mein Kampf, you see that I'm totally right. So I say to the guy, <laughs> okay, hear me out. Imagine you're a corporation who makes tens, if not hundreds of millions of dollars providing games. Each game provides you a higher statistic for winning each round. So even if it's a 51% chance, the house will still net benefit over time. Now true. what you're telling me is one game has a higher chance of people winning. Do you think a company is like, you know what? We're making way too much money off these games. Let's just give people one one game where they can win more often. Sure, we lose money, but I'm just a company who cares not only about earning tons of money, but <laughs> if people only. too. So he doubles down and says, well, you just have to know when to walk away. I'm like, walk away? Well, what does that even mean? When is the right time to walk away? As soon as you make a profit? As soon as you double the money that you came in with? Or is it percentage base where you make 15% or more and you walk away? Please tell me in your head, what does the term walk away actually mean? And his response was, and I quote, it's just a feeling. Which, to be honest, sums up this <laughs> entire video. It's not just statistics or logic that makes people play these clearly rigged games, it's a feeling. So why waste your time working hard for money when you can just pull a lever and have a machine decide it for you? So that's my video on why gambling in a casino is stupid. If I miss any, please let me know down in the comments. And just remember, the only smart gambling is spoon feeding drinks into a 5 foot 5 big titty Asian. Hit me. <laughs> mm, you know what you want to do. Oh, you want to push that subscribe button. Oh, push the button. Push the button. Okay. So, this video is obviously not meant to be taken super seriously. It's just like a funny and crass video. He's like half trolling and half kind of spitting facts, which 
I respect. I'm into it. I like this style. But just for fun, I'm gonna be a dork and critique it. So do I agree with this video? Yes and no. So if you haven't checked out our recent video on four tips on setting a gambling budget, I highly recommend it. I'll link it right here in the card that pops up. And I'm doing the shameless plug because I'm going to be referencing a few principles from that video. So I agree with this video in a sense that, yes, gambling is stupid if you go into it with the expectation to win money. Like, he's completely right there. There's no debating that. And like he said in the video, there's no such thing as a hot seat. You're never due to win. There's no strategy in any game that's going to give you an actual percentage edge over the casino. So let's go back to this blackjack guy. Where is he? There he is. <laughs> so with blackjack and baccarat and roulette and table games like that, there's all these, like, macro strategies floating around that just aren't real. Like with blackjack, Yes, basic strategy works in a sense that it will give you the best chance of winning. And by best chance of winning, that's still only about 49%. But if people are talking about macro strategies, kind of like card counting, well, card counting's kind of been made obsolete by like almost every casino out there. For sure, every casino in Vegas. So most blackjack tables now use like six or seven decks, or even on the double deck tables, they only play like two hands before they shuffle the deck again. So if you're counting, your count's only good for two hands, which doesn't really do anything for you. And in every casino, they all change the rules slightly, and this is the combat counting, and it's just to give them a better edge. Different casinos will do different things, but for example, whether the dealer hits or stands on a soft 17, or when you can and can't double. So most blackjack tables now only pay 6 to 5 if you get a blackjack, instead of the traditional 3 to 2. I think I've even seen one casino pay 1 to 1 for a blackjack. So all this to say that it doesn't really make sense to count anymore. And in Baccarat, a lot of people swear by the Martingale system, which is basically, if you lose a hand, then you double your bet. And if you lose that hand, you double your bet. And you keep repeating if you're losing, and the idea is, at some point you're gonna win, and then you're gonna be back at zero. Just think about that for a sec. If you're on a losing streak and you're doubling and doubling and doubling, when do you stop? until you hit the table max, or until you run out of money? Like, what's, what's, the, what's the logic here? So I'm just gonna go ahead and say, like a rule of thumb is that your odds are never gonna be better than about 49%, because the casino always needs that edge, otherwise why would they put the game out there? So if everything's kind of hovering around 49% and a certain gambler wants to maximize their chances of winning, then they might as well just play roulette and put it all on red. It's the same chances. Now I will say, the only type of game that actually requires some degree of skill where it actually matters is poker. So poker is pretty much combining math with the human angle, or... GTO, as the poker players like to call it. So GTO is Game Theory Optimal, and that just means you're not regarding the other players at all. You're just playing the best option based on your cards, based on your position, based on your chip stack. And the other piece of poker, I guess you can say, is the human angle. So poker players call that exploitative play, where you're playing the player and you're not so much playing your hand. So to be a good poker player, you actually need to be good at both things. So that's why I say poker's kind of in a different class than the other casino games. So again, I agree with this video in the sense that in most cases, yes, it's dumb to gamble as a way to make money. But where I disagree is, what about just gambling for fun? And I know people are gonna be like, <laughs> Losing money is fun, huh? <laughs> so I address this in the gambling budgeting video, but basically, if someone says it's dumb to have fun gambling, where do you draw the line? Why do some people spend thousands of dollars on fishing equipment when they can just go to the store and buy a fish? Is it dumb to buy nice watches or nice clothes? Is it dumb to go clubbing? Is it dumb to go to concerts? Is it dumb to play video games? Is it dumb to buy a nice car or to be a car guy? Like, where does this stop? So what I'm trying to say is that 
everyone has fun and enjoys spending their money in different ways. That's kind of the beauty of being human. We can all like different things and still be friends, right? Now, I don't want to trivialize and downplay the elephant in the room, which is addiction. But again, just like everything else, if you're having fun responsibly, then who's to say what you can or can't have fun doing? And who's to say what can make you happy or not? So again, I know this video wasn't meant to be that deep. It obviously wasn't meant to be taken that serious with like this guy on the frame. But when I saw the title, I was like, I'm going to be a dork and react to this. So let me know your thoughts on this. Do you think gambling is stupid? Am I just trying to justify my habits? Let me know in the comments below. So if you like this kind of video, please consider subscribing. It really helps us out a ton. My dog just walked in. So once again, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next video. Haha. <laughs>